Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Block Tech Tips. In today's um, tutorial, I'll be showing you to password lock your BIOS on any laptop. Of course, in this case, I have an ASA laptop. And of course, by locking the BIOS, you'll be able to better protect your um, computer instead of just having a Windows password. All right, so nobody will be able to format your laptop. Nobody will be able to make certain changes. Now, of course, once you do this, um, nobody will be able to steal and then wipe your laptop and then resell it. They might be able to scrap it for parts at best, but of course, um, otherwise they might also be able to um, access the hard drive, but they won't be able to use the laptop or resell it directly, which might be difficult as in most cases they want to resell the laptop as a whole unit. So what we have done here, guys, is to um, change the way the laptop boots up by asking for a password. All right, so I'm going to show you today how to do that um, BIOS lock on your Windows base um, laptop. Remember, this applies to any brand, especially Acer. All right, so go ahead and I'm going to show you what to do. So as you can see here, what we're going to do is we're going to hit power. Notice the laptop is going to start up. First thing, as soon as you see the Acer logo, it asks for this um, password, which is not normal. And this is not the Windows password. If, um, of course, I can enter my password. I'm going to do it off screen. And once I enter my password, I'll have to do is hit enter. If I do not know the password, I cannot modify anything on this computer. All right, so you get the idea. Now, um, in order to do this, you need to be able to boot into um, your BIOS. In order to get into your BIOS, as soon as your laptop is off, and I'm going to show you what I mean, starting from a fresh um, uh, laptop that's powered off, you'll have to press the F2 key or find the delete key. So delete or F2 key, right? And you're gonna press. If you're not sure which one, you can actually press them alternatively. Have your fingers on both, keep pressing. And of course, as soon as the BIOS comes up, um, you should be good. I'm gonna show you how I did it. All right, in the case of the ASA, it's F2. So let's go ahead and um, start this device up. As I said, press F2. Notice I'm pressing F2. All right, then of course you're gonna enter um, here, which is the BIOS, and you're gonna do the following. All right, so I was correct for the Acer. It's actually F2 to get you into the um, the BIOS. If that's not working, try while it's booting up. As soon as you, before you see the first logo, try the delete. So F2 or delete is usually. All right, so now we're in the um, BIOS of the device. In order to set the or lock the BIOS. You're going to use the arrow keys. Notice the controls down here. Arrow keys to move over. F5 or 6 to change. F9 or um, F10 to save and exit. All right, now check this out, guys. I'm going to move over using the arrow keys. So, um, of course, I'm going to move over. Go over to security. Under security, guys, you must set the supervisor password. I've all, I already have mine set. Notice what it says about the supervisor password here. It says it controls access to the whole setup utility. It can be used to boot up uh, when the password, um, when you basically set a password um, on boot. All right. So, of course, first, in order to select password on boot, you must go ahead and set this. So, what I suggest you do is highlight, then you're going to hit enter. So, hit enter on your keyboard. You're then going to um, enter a password, confirm the password. I've already done it. I'm not showing you where to do. So uh, what to do. So um, enter your password. You'll enter it twice. Once you do that, it will en en enable with the new password. And then, of course, you'll be able to move down. And you want to set um, password and boot. And it's going to be disabled. Let me show you what you mean. I'm going to hit enter again. Check this out, guys. Mine is already enabled. So what you want to do is go ahead and um, hit. Um, it's going to be disabled. So hit enable. Once you hit enable, it should be um, good. And what's going to happen is that once you select enable, it's going to go ahead and enable it. And last but not least, guys, you're going to go over to the last option here. And then you're going to select or move down with the arrow keys to exit saving changes. So you're going to hit enter. Once you do that, the system will reboot and it will ask you for the password, enter the password and you will boot up. From now on, you'll need the password to boot up. A great way to secure your system. I'll show you that again in a minute. All right guys, so um, I've exited and check this out. It's booting up. 
to ask you for the password as usual as I was showing you earlier and there you go so once you do that you should be good and your device will um, lock the BIOS quite easy and I hope this tutorial was helpful as always guys Ricardo Gardner from blog tech tips saying bye until next time bye guys